Hi there, thanks for watching this video. If you are new here, I am Paul and I have been working on this Python GUI builder tool myself. Okay, for those who are new, PyUI Builder is a web-based Python GUI builder. And for now, it can help you build in two different library, Tinker and Custom TK. But pretty soon, I'll be adding support for Kevy and PY side. Now, without further delay, let jump right onto the interface and see what we have. The first thing you'll notice on the top left is how you can switch between different UI libraries. The first one is your widgets tab. You get to see all the available widgets for you. In case you don't want to scroll further down, you could also use the search bar to search for the widget. Next on the list is plugins. Plugins are third party UI widgets. For now, you have Map Viewer, Video Player, and two others, but soon I'll try to support more libraries. The third on the list is Tree View. You can view all the widgets on the canvas right here. You can also double click on this list item to pan to widget. The other options are self-explanatory. The fourth on the list is uploads. You can upload images, videos, which can later be set on labels or video player. The last on the list is templates. Once this is complete, you'll be able to start with a template instead of starting from scratch. Now let's try creating something using the UI builder. Let's start by going to the widgets tab and adding a top level widget. This widget can't be dropped on the main window and you'll see a red dotted lines if you hover over the main window indicating it's not droppable on main window. You can change the properties from the right toolbar, such as the window title, background color, layouts, and more. We'll change the layout to absolute and add a couple of widgets. I'll speed up the next section of this video. Once it's done, you can go ahead and update the project title and click on export code Now that it's downloaded, extract the zip file and go into the folder. You'll notice a requirements.txt file and a main.py. First install the requirements and then run the main.py file and you'll see that it's the same UI you built with the UI builder. As you can see, it's built the Tinker UI just like you built it in the GUI builder. That's all for this video. Subscribe to tune into next one.